Hello, Cindy here with Create Your Own Luck and Love. Welcome. We're going to talk about texting, texting, texting today and um, talk about just some easy things you can do, especially if you're someone that, um, I don't know if you just heard this, but anyways, Cindy Olin with Create Your Own Luck and Love. Welcome. I'm a love and relationship coach where I help women and some great men as well to attract and keep lasting love. So today, tune in, perk up your ears. We're talking about texting. Who out there has second guessed themselves around texting or, frankly, you can't stand it? So here's the deal. Texting is pretty much here to stay. I hate to say it. And um, I'm going to give you some rules of thumb when it comes to texting to support you and actually bringing him closer towards you so that you are articulating the things that you want to say and in a way that show your high value and show and also show him that you're interested so they'll bring him closer and the thing is there's you know there's a lot of you know dating relationship coaches that talk about texting and often you know and sometimes they'll say these texts will you know make him commit to you and Text messaging isn't really designed to change his feelings towards you, although they can evoke feelings. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. So texting can be really fun, especially when it's done right. And I want to help you take the guesswork out of it. And the thing is, this is the number one thing to keep in mind. Men want to hear from you through text in a way that shows your authenticity, your playful side, and you just being you. Uh, something to avoid when it comes to text messaging, especially when you're just getting to know a guy or you guys are, you know, interested in each other and things are you know, just starting to heat up, the thing you want to avoid is texting each other all night long without getting on the phone or, you know, continuously texting throughout the day. Because here's what that does. It actually, and I, I talk about this a lot, you know, especially if you've been a client of mine or in any of my programs, it, it takes away the tension. So what it does is it makes him less inclined to want to ask you out on a date because it's your your text messaging a lot so it's kind of like a date to him too so just remembering that you don't want to you know as as hard as it is for a woman because oftentimes we love connection and we like to connect often especially when we're excited about some somebody and a man likes that too but he doesn't like it on the same level that we do so you definitely when you're just getting to know a guy you want to avoid texting too much you want to definitely um, try to connect in person more so a couple of things that you want to do so you definitely want to build build up in text messages and you know have texts that build upon each other and what I mean by that is you know let's just say this is before the first date or you're just getting to know him you want him to do more of the reaching out and you to be the one receiving and because you know, because men are hunters by nature, so they like to do that. And you get to ha be on the fun receiving end of things like, yeah, I'm excited to see you. Um, 
you know, and, and having a fun flirty message back, like, um, that's right. We're meeting at Domino's at five o'clock, right? No, <laughs> you know, you're just kind of like making little subtle, funny jokes and you're, you're put placing in exclamation points because it shows you're excited and there's, and you're happy, exclamation points equal happy. Okay, so, and your texts want to have value. This is important. So, for example, um, you never wanna text, hey, how's your day? Um, that's kind of boring, or hi, how are you? There's nothing, you know, Yes, you want to know how that person's doing, but it's boring. Everybody sends that text. So a text that has value can be like, um, you know, something, something a little bit deeper than that. Like I was, you know, I was just driving past um, that sushi place that we went to the other night. Oh my gosh, the hamachi was the best. You always pick out the best places. Anyways, how are you? Something like that. Or, um, you know, this is also, this is also kind of a fun one too. Fun and flirty. Um, you know, you know, hey, you just popped into my mind and I thought I'd say hi. So, hi, and you can put on like a little wavy thing or a smiley face or something. That's cute. And men like that, it makes them smile. And there's nothing you need to do after that. If he says, oh, hey, what's up? How are you doing? There's no need to really share, say anything back, okay? Let me know if this is helping you. Put a yes in the comments. Let me know if texting is something that you get in your head over. Um, I can share more about that too. Also, picture texts are good. So, you know, you could take a picture of, you know, let's just say you guys had gone out to Thai food and it just so happens you're eating, you're grabbing some Thai. So you can take a picture of that and be like, Thai food twice this week, you must be having an effect upon me. You know, winky face, something like that. Um, you know, picture te text of you hiking on a trail. Oh, I, you know, you know, this, this made me think of you, um, you know, after our hike last week. Something along those lines that picture texts that connect to a conversation you've had. Again, in the beginning, you really want him reaching and you always really want a man reaching out to you a little bit more but sending a little fun picture text there's is always a good thing it it doesn't disappoint or you know a silly picture or meme uh, around something you guys have um chatted over always good you don't have to think too much about it and you can let it go so the other thing around texting, the less energy you have around a text, the less, the less you are in your head and the more you do it when you're just in flow and you're happy and you're just in a good space and you send a great text and you're not attached, he will feel that energy, I guarantee it, and will likely respond back with something just as fun. But when you let go of the expectations, that's when you start to feel connected and in flow through texting. Um, another one is something that, you know, really exudes your, your value or confidence. You know, if he's like, 
you know, hey, um, I, you know, hey, how are you? Was, um, you know, how was the concert you went to? Or, you know, whatever. Let's just say he's he's chatting with you a little bit over text and you really want him to ask you out on a date. Hey, great to hear from you. Um, you know, I definitely, you know, I'd love to share more with you about the concert and I'm happy to tell you all about it. Um, if you asked me out on a date, I could, I could share so much, even show you some video, you know, smiley face, wink, right? That asserts like, hey, I'm not just a text messaging kind of gal. I'm a woman that you ask out on a date. It helps, they actually start to think about you differently. So you're not continuing, you're, you're not gonna chat with them all night via text about the concert. You'd be like, hey, oh, the concert was great. Can't wait to tell you all about it. And when you ask me out on a date, I'll be happy to share with you in detail what it's about. It, make, it literally makes a man just sit up a little bit straighter and also want to it, it draws him in and makes him even more attracted to you. So here's, those are a few great texting ideas you can send. Um, you know, another fun and flirty one that's been used that's, that's super cute, you could take this, is something like, after you've gotten to know him a little bit, you're dating, things are heating up, you'd be like, hi, I'd like some attention, please. Winky face. You know, it's playful, it's fun, it's flirty, men love it. And, you know, it sounds like the neediest thing you could send, but it, in fact, the very fact that you're sending that, it's the most unneedy thing ever. It's just like, hey, thinking about you, and I'd love some attention. It just shows that you're, he's significant to you and you feel seen by him. So, or you, you, you already know there's a connection there and you just want to continue to grow, deepen it, or you can even send that if you're in a relationship with the guy and be like, hi, I'd like some attention, please. Smiley face. Um, wink, rose. <laughs> you know, there's so many things you can do to really have fun through text, just as long as it feels authentic to you. And another thing I'll leave you with is, um, you know, if you're thinking about sending a text message and you want to share something, you could, you know, share it, put it in the message, don't send it, and then come, you know, go off and do your own thing for an hour, work, you know, work out, do what you're doing, and then look at it an hour later and, and say to yourself, is this aligned with the message that I want to send? Or if I were to flip it, how would I feel if I received this back? Is this authentic to me and the woman that I am and, and what I, I want to send to him. So that'll help you in getting out of the space of, you know, overthinking, overanalyzing, because oftentimes when we leave something and we go back, we, we shift our perspective. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments, do you struggle with texting? And was this helpful? Tell me what specifically was helpful to you. All right, lots of love. Mwah. Have an amazing night. Bye.